definitely got to take it easy here because there's fuel lines that run directly under this tunnel. This poor floor, it's had a top shift front case, it's had a normal and now it's got a top shift rear case. Right now you're probably wondering, why didn't I just cut that whole section out? This is quite a thick part of the floor uh, and I want to keep a little bit of rigidity there rather than have the whole thing cut out. So no show car, but neat, the finished product inside. Okay, the front tail shaft, uh, we're off finding parts again. Find ourselves back here again, hunting for parts. The front tail shaft's gonna be a lot easier if we sacrifice a full shaft. That size tube that we need to extend that bottom section isn't easy to get. All right, so what I've got, I've got a stock front shaft and I've got a modified one from a truck where we've obviously moved the diff forward. We've done a diff push um, and custom springs. Looking at them there, I doubt that the stock one's gonna be long enough. 170, we needed to extend it. But Adam will prep them all up and then we'll be back here uh, to see how he does it. Oil time. So we'll take the 8090 out of the gearbox as well and we'll refill that with the 8090. We'll use the 8140 in the transfer boxes. Just want to show you the Marlin adapter, adapter has a uh, drain plug on it. So it's probably going to take a lot of the oil out of the first case. Um, and then you've got the drain plug as you would normally have. So with one filler plug. So all the oil for the two boxes and the adapter is all going to be filled from this one filler plug. So same as factory. Uh, what I might do, because the, the box is facing down towards the back, I'll fill it up here and then I'll nose it down and um, give it a bit more because you need to get oil throughout this whole setup. The gearbox soil was nice. Uh, the magnet was clean out on the drain plug. But you know what? We're under here. We've got the oil. We may as well put it in. This front diff's done bugger all work too. This is the 80 high pinion. And I put 8090 in that. Since everything was new, one run we drain, and I'll get the uh, 8140 in that as well. Now that I've got the good stuff, I'm going to put it everywhere I can. <laughs> We're going to be about six inches short on the um, four-wheel drive light, so I'll have to extend that. That's important for us because we can be in low range two-wheel drive. I need to make sure that works, so it's not a big deal. I'll extend this side so that I've still got the factory plugs. That'll be four-wheel drive and that'll be two-wheel drive, but I can still be in all my low ranges so I can disarm the front. So that there is in two-wheel drive and then we come down one, that's four-wheel drive. So we go back to two-wheel drive and then we muck around with that front case. Doesn't change it. So that always stays in four-wheel drive. 
No, that would be low. That would be low. So that's low, low. Four wheel drive. And then two wheel drive. I might have to make up a little plaque here to tell me because I remember now because I've been working on it for so much. Anyway, the light works. Another protection to make sure that we're where we want to be at the start of each event. What I might also do while we're here is clean out the um, rear disconnect line. So that's it up there. We'll turn it on. Just make sure nothing got caught in there or I'll hook it back up. Unfortunately, I ended up having to run a brand new airline to the compressor because um, it was quite tight. I don't like leaving things real loose unless I know that they need it. So, um, you know, it's near the exhaust and anyway, we ran a new one. It was a bit of a punish, but it's done now. Bit of a curveball. we're back at Adams. Uh, he's plucked away that tail shaft, but it needs machining for the tube to fit. Brian loves using his lathe. This is where we're at, so he's unplucked that. And then this was the shaft that I'd already had extended. It's a smaller inside diameter than what we need. So that's the bit we need to take a couple of mil off. Not much, but it's enough to delay the job. This one-off custom build is slowly coming together. All the blood, sweat and tears, the sleepless nights. I couldn't have done it without Brian and Adam. Long-time friends, you guys are amazing. You've helped me out so much. Shell, you're the best. Your support and encouragement throughout this and throughout our marriage and life together. Thank you. The kids, well, the kids are just gonna enjoy driving it later on in their lives. I know why you brought the tail shaft back because you wanted to have a drive. He's the first guy to drive this thing on twin cases. I'm not, I'm not out. He's not getting out. You're driving at home. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Is that low, low? Oh, you're going to have to do a back and fill. Low, low, low. low. can go that's awesome eh? how good is the steering now nice. how good is it hey I won't know myself we'll have a look at all your sticks in there I oh, know it's gonna take a long time yeah, to get in there I know oh, but 40s you're gonna go a little bit quicker what two percent Even though we've only got that silly cross member there, we'll get that front tail shaft in and there's no reason why we can't drive it. Test out the suspension. paint shop with that and as always thanks for watching